Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us for On the Couch with Fouch. This is the place to come for your favorite Southern gospel artists. You get to meet them. You get to know a little bit more about them than just what you may see on stage or hear in an interview somewhere else. You get some of the stories that you probably haven't heard anywhere else. Today, I have my friends Daniel and Andrew Ball with me. Guys, thanks so much for taking time out of your schedules here at National Quartet Convention to join me for this. Oh, thanks for having us. Thanks for having us. We've either been singing or eating in <laughs> Interviews are a great change well, of pace. As they, isn't, that what, isn't that what most of us do this week? It's it. You, it see, is. you got to refuel to keep going. Right. And in between the singing stops, you right? You just uh, buy your suits a half size bigger for NQC because you know throughout the week you'll eventually fit them. So. That's perfect. Yeah. Excellent advice for those guys that may be watching yes. that want to get into gospel music. Yes. That's the one thing they definitely need to know about NQC. Half size bigger. Yes. Perfect. <laughs> Tell everybody your guys' history as the Ball Brothers. Our hist- well, we were born yeah. uh, the Ball Brothers. We're Andrew and I are real life Ball Brothers. Yes. Well done. Yeah, you and, did a great uh, job being born. We started off as uh, as four brothers, and uh, two of our brothers came off the road, Stephen and Josh, and uh, two new guys in the group, uh, brother-in-law Chad McCloskey, and uh, not a brother at all, uh, Matt Davis. So, mm-hmm. uh, but we grew up singing in church and uh, singing around, listening to Southern gospel music, and dreamed of doing it one day and now have the opportunity to live our dream. Awesome, and I think my first introduction, I believe my first introduction was of you guys when you went on tour with Ernie Haas and Signature yes. Sound back in... 2006. Wow, so yeah. 10 years ten ago. Years. Yeah. So kind of, I mean, it's possible that a lot of people first saw you guys yeah. maybe on that tour. Oh, yeah. So talk about that a little bit. I mean, that was 10 years ago. Yeah, it was... Give everybody an idea kind of how that came to be if they it, saw you on that. It was really kind of crazy. We had decided that we wanted to try start traveling and singing full-time, so we put up a website and maybe had it up just a couple days with just a picture and a little clip of us singing a cappella. We were contacted by some folks that said, hey, we would love to have you guys come down and sing at a concert and potentially, you know, it was gonna be with Ernie Haas' signature sound and they said, do you guys play basketball? We said, yeah, we do. They said, well, let Ernie wants to play basketball before the concert. So we met in Alabama yeah. before the concert, played basketball, went out to eat, sang at a concert that night and just really hit it off with Ernie and went out to eat afterwards, we're talking with them, and he said, man, I, I wanna do this like all the time with you guys, we just had so much fun. So a couple weeks later he called back and said, uh, clear your summer schedules, go on tour with me for the entire summer. And so we did, we had a, a whole grand total of two concerts that we had to cancel, <laughs> you know, just happening. really busy. So <laughs> we're like, let me see, yeah, we're clear. And uh, we ended up doing- Did you the, ask my secretary to clear my schedule? Yeah, just let me call mom real fast. And she's like, do it, no. Uh, so I think we did 22 dates that summer. Yeah. And that's how we got introduced to so many folks. And then at the end of the tour, Ernie called and said, uh, would you guys perform one song on our DVD that they were doing with the Gaither Productions at that time, and uh, that's what video really was that? Getaway, Getaway. Jordan. Getaway. Getaway that was Jordan. the big one. I mean, that was it the was. one that really hit. Yeah. huge for them. Yeah, it wasn't Absolutely. because of us. <laughs> no, we enjoyed Are being a part sure? of it. We enjoyed yeah. being a part of it. We were just along for the ride, but it was a great learning experience. Uh, we learned so much on that tour, and then that really kind of launched us into our own career. From yeah, that. then our schedule filled up after that. So yeah, that took care of only having two dates on the calendar, being introduced to so many people, being on the video, and. Yeah. People started calling in, so that's awesome. Yeah. What a, I mean, that's a great story. Um, now, you mentioned before about your brothers Josh and Stephen. Yes. So there was a couple questions about how many siblings are there in in your guys' immediate Ball family. Seven. Okay, that's quite a few. Four boys, and then we have three younger sisters. Okay. So now I have heard you guys say at your concerts, talk about who is mom's favorite. Yes. So one of the questions was. Who truly is mom's favorite? My mom, out of the seven, maybe not even out of YouTube, but maybe yeah. out of the seven. My mom asked this question, I think. So, yeah. mom, you know, you already know the answer. It was me. No, uh, <laughs> it has to be our, it has to be our, our youngest sister. They're so, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. she See, still loves at home. Yeah, and uh, she's forty three and just lives at home with mom <laughs> and dad. Way to go. That's she's, fine. She's, I mean, if you're life 40, goals. Yeah, she's really she's nineteen. <laughs> she's nineteen. She's going yeah. to college, but. It's a lot easier with yeah. just one kid in the house. She gets it easy, so she, she has gets to be the spoiled. favorite. Yeah, she gets so, so spoiled. You know, you said I didn't actually notice that that was your mom that asked that question. So that, that was great. <laughs> I know it was. But I did notice she that has a lot like of pseudonyms. that yes. uh, a, a 
a, a lady that had the last name Ball asked mm-hmm. who your favorite sister was. Yes. And I know Chad, the guy singing yep. baritone with you guys, he asked who your favorite brother-in-law is. Yes. So like, I guess your family is just really wanting to know who you guys like in the family. I mean, do you guys not... Sh- no, I think know, it's so- just a competition. They just want something okay. on the record. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are you going to commit? No. 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 <laughs> it's a, it, this is a presidential season, yeah. so it's the yeah, time yeah, not yeah. to and commit. And it makes Christmas get, get together so awkward if they walk around and be like, hey, see what he put on Facebook. You know, so. Exactly. And there's so many in there. I mean, it could really yeah. turn into a disaster. It, it, is. it is. So, Connor <laughs> Bost. Thank you, Connor, for your question. Yes. What has been your guys' funniest moment on stage? Funniest moment on stage. Um, one night on the Christmas tour, uh, the Christmas tour we do about 30 dates uh, in a row, 25 to 30 the month of December. So we're out singing pretty much every day, and got ready to sing "It's About the Cross," their big song at the end of our program. And I'm standing up in front, I'm singing, and I say the line that normally starts the track, and the track didn't start. So I kind of circle back around to it, say something else. I'm like, "It's about the cross," and the track doesn't start. Finally, I turned around and realized that Chad, who had not been feeling well, had passed out behind me and was laying on the ground. And I'm trying to set up the song, so I turn around and I see that he's passed out. And Hit the track. I just keep talking. <laughs> and Andy and Andrew grabbed Chad and got him off the stage and set him on the front row. Well, they set him on the front row and he still hadn't really come to. He was dehydrated and had just passed out. And uh, they set him on the front row and I'm like, he's going to be okay. He had, you know, just dealing with a little bit of a cold. and. They set him on the front row, and he just falls over on the front <laughs> row. And we're still trying to do the concert. So finally I said, is there a doctor or a nurse here or somebody? And wow. finally a nurse came up and, and got him, and he kind of came to, and we just sang without him. We yeah. finished out the concert. It was the last song. And I mentioned in the concert, I said, people always ask us, what would you do if one of you guys get sick? And I always have said, we just sing till we drop. And we literally actually sang yeah. till so we dropped. The answer to that question is, well... We put them on the front row, yeah, and we just continue doing what just we're doing. Yeah, yeah, just keep going. Give them a front row ticket. But it's it's funny now. It was a little scary then. I think it? I think my funniest uh, memory though is uh, one with Daniel. This is an awesome. Let story. me interrupt here. Yes. I just I just thought about this, Chad. They really do love you. We I mean, do, regardless of that. We do. What we happened do. It was there? Just they super love you. Funny yes. at your expense. Go ahead. Sorry. The best was we were doing a little church in Arkansas. And we noticed that directly across the street was this little taco stand. and It, it was on our food app. Yeah. That was on like, Man versus Food. Yeah. So okay. we were like, oh, we got to go we there. We got to eat there. Huge burritos. So Daniel gets in the bus with a burrito. I kid you not, it was about this big. Maybe 10 minutes before we sang. And I was like, are you going to seriously eat that? He goes, yeah. He goes, it's that good. So he starts taking a bites of it. And he's like, man, it's good. So he's just eating as much of this burrito before we go in the concert. So the whole concert's going on. We're getting towards the end. And I noticed that. He's got, you know, a little acid reflux going on. A lot of acid reflux. <laughs> Apparently out. it was a lot. So he's drinking some water. And all of a sudden, we're, we're probably four songs from the end of the concert. Yeah. And as he's singing, I look over and I just see, like, water start spraying out of his nose. He had acid, acid reflux and it came up. And when he tried to swallow, it didn't want to go down and just shot out his nose. In While the middle singing. of the song. So I... I'm, I think I, I wiped it off with my tie. Oh my we God. finished up the song. And he goes, "Thank you so much." Thank and you. Just good walked off. Walk We're all off. just going, "What just happened?" <laughs> and I died laughing. We just ended the concert right there. So pure professionalism. This section yes. has been brought to you by Prilosecco. <laughs> You're right. That's awesome. Uh, Ruth Hebert wants to know the best part about singing together as brothers. Ah, uh, I is, think is there a best part? Yeah. Well, it's no. fun. I think whenever you're with family, when you're singing with family, you can be open and honest. Mm-hmm. Uh, it it kind of makes the process a little bit better. Sometimes you have other guys in, especially a new guy, you have to be delicate with how you present something. If we go up and sing, if I go up and sing and I mess something up, Andrew will just say, hey, that, that sounded horrible. <laughs> <laughs> just point blank. <laughs> well, today we did our set and we, uh, in the showcase and he walked up. He's like, listen to this. I'm like, oh, okay. Yep, I didn't hit that. Just note. a little, yeah, just just a little, little flat there. <laughs> Honesty. Nice. Yeah. Best. So um, keep but, you humble. But sometimes that does like uh, we'll occasionally have people jump in the bus to help out for the weekend, and the brutal honesty between the two of us, they'll just be sitting there like scared to death. And I'm like, oh no, we're fine. We just you know we just that's, that's how shoot we do. straight how we and we're done. Yeah. yeah. Cool. David Prince wants to know um, how do you guys get your teeth so white? And if we can get a <laughs> zoom in on these teeth, I mean they're just. <laughs> we joke about this, but this is the honest truth: is crest white strips, and 
for me, uh, I don't drink any soda or coffee or anything like that. I just drink water. And so a lot of those things, soda and coffee and tea will stain your teeth. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, yeah, so I just drink water. Okay, and what about you? I, I drink anything. <laughs> no, it's the same thing. They just, just cross, cross, cross strips. white strips. Yeah. Just touch I, them up there, a little bit. And... There's a plug for the white strips. Yeah, there right. is. You should get a sponsorship. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Contact me, Chris. I mean, yeah. we have a great, we can do it. great opportunity here at On the Couch with Fouch. Um, let me ask you guys. I, I know kind of something on Daniel with this. Are there any secret talents or kind of like jobs that you guys do that maybe a lot of people don't know about? Andrew can wiggle his ears. Yes. <laughs> uh, okay, that's impressive. Go ahead. We don't ever share that from stage. Nope. Okay. <laughs> we probably shouldn't have shared it here. <laughs> Got really weird. That's nice. <laughs> yes, it's like, oh. Okay. And I know you've done... Yeah, I do a little bit of background acting in Atlanta. There's um, more films are filmed in Atlanta area than almost any other state outside of California. And so, um, made friends with one of, the, one of the casting directors there and then got to be in Captain America and Sully, the movie that just came out, and, and Spider-Man next year. Just little parts, little things. So, so I mean, the reason I asked that is because I found that very interesting when, I, when you had told me that. And so I was like, that's cool. I, mean, I think that's maybe something that a lot of people don't know that are watching this. And so I was just wondering if there's anything like that for you, but you nope. guys went with the wiggling I your just, ears. Yeah. Which is, He's yeah. an actor <laughs> in really cool movies, and I can wiggle my ears. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Uh, <laughs> talk about... This is something that has exploded for you guys in 2016. Your social media and the videos you guys have done. It's been, I don't, I guess it would maybe unprecedented in the genre of music that we're in. I mean, most groups don't get the kind of exposure and the kind of video plays that you guys have right. uh, in gospel music. And so and honestly, we, talk about how that all, what happened there. We've, been, we've be. been doing social media since we started in 2006. Uh, a lot, just building it, um, uh, putting up videos, silly videos, fun stuff that we're doing, and uh, released a little acapella video of I Shall Know Him last year in Red Deer, Canada, and got several million views on Facebook. And it's just a God thing. I mean, mm -hmm. if we knew what it was, we would have done it sooner rather <laughs> right, than waiting right. nine yeah. years to do it. Um, but uh, the Lord blessed it, and that in turn spurred album sales and uh, uh, the Breakthrough album, which was released seven years ago, yeah. has been in the top 100 of iTunes for six months. It was number five, up to number five twice. And wow. um, then several other videos started going viral. And then videos that were recorded a long time ago started going viral again. Uh, but it's just uh, one of those things where I think that if you stay faithful, um, you don't really know what it's going to be. You can't plan it, but just ask right. that God will bless you. And then all of a sudden, whenever he opens up the floodgates, it's like, get ready. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's awesome. That's cool. Yeah. So how many, I don't know the number to this. This is why I'm asking. How many video views have you guys had on cumulative on your videos in 2016? I, I think over the last calendar year is about 28 million. So That's crazy. Yeah. Now, and, you know, my thought is, I wonder how many of those people have not ever heard gospel yeah music. you know oh, so lot, we hear yeah. a lot yeah. uh, because people will share the stuff and their friends and family will see it that maybe aren't saved or haven't been around church or don't they've just never been introduced to gospel music so what a, uh, a an opportunity it is and even to get in the countries that we can never go and sing to that maybe aren't open to the gospel yeah. that can get online and see, see these videos and that's the great thing about gospel music is it's not promoting us it's promoting our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ right, yeah. and the message of the gospel and uh, so every single song that we sing is biblically centered and uh, with that foundation so whenever it gets shared it's not sharing us it's sharing the good news of Jesus Christ so it's exciting. That's awesome yeah very cool so 28 million views yeah. Give everybody, I mean, are those videos on YouTube? If, if by chance, someone watching is one like, man, I wish I could see those videos. Yeah. Tell them where so, they can go watch those videos if all, they haven't seen them. All of our them. social media is at The Ball Brothers. So you, YouTube, forward slash at The Ball Brothers, Facebook, uh, The Ball Brothers, um, Twitter, Instagram. And we put videos up on all of them. But mm -hmm. Facebook, you can find a lot of the videos and YouTube. Yep, just type in Ball cool. Brothers or Google us. There you go. Go check it out. Yeah. I'm assuming some of those 28 million is basically everyone watching, but just in case, I wanted them right. to know where yeah. to go. Yeah. So I've not ever really done an interview, um, maybe just, no, I don't, I think maybe one, um, with 
that do two, it. Yeah. Two people. Mm-hmm. It's normally just one person yeah. that's sitting here with me. And so I wanted to do something a little fun for a change. All right. And I wanted to see how well you guys know each other. So I asked each of you. It sounds a lot like the newlywed game. To, yes, yes, exactly. Only less that's awkward, kind of the idea. Hopefully. Yeah. The brothers game, whatever. Yes. Um, I asked each of you the same questions, Uh-oh. and I got answers from you, and I want to know how well y'all know each other. So, the very first question that I asked each of you, um, so I'm going to start with you since you're okay. closest to me. Am I supposed to uh, answer what I said or what? You're, oh, what he said. Answer oh, okay. what you yeah, think. He said, got it. He, uh. he, how he answered this question. Right. What is Daniel's favorite snack? <sighs> favorite snack? Um... I'm drawing a blank. I'm just gonna guess. I'm gonna say um, M&Ms. It's not that. No, it's not M&Ms. Is that, you don't eat light chocolate. It, <laughs> I, I do. I, I, no. Chocolate brownies. I like chocolate brown, brownies. Brownies. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. brownies and ice cream. Okay, yeah, so my that's, bad. Which my is bad. delicious. I love brownies yeah. and ice cream as well. Okay, so Daniel, what is Andrew's favorite snack? He just answered what he thought mine would be. His is M&Ms. No, it was oranges. What? <laughs> But I knew he would he, say M and M, so no, I had intentionally no, answered that. Okay. Yeah, it's M&Ms. So, okay. He can eat a five-pound bag of M and M's while he's driving the bus. Yes. Andrew. Yes. Daniel's favorite, all-time favorite song is. Um, Oh, what a savior. No. Blessed assurance. Blessed assurance. So close. That was number seven. Yes. <laughs> Same question to uh, you. Andrew's all-time favorite song. No more night. No. Till the storm passes by. You guys Hems. are failing, man. It's Hems. like we yeah. got a big goose egg on both sides <laughs> yes. here. Last chance, the third question. Uh, Andrew, Daniel's, uh, the actor that Daniel most wants to be like is? I don't, I don't know. Uh, Will Ferrell. That is correct. Yes. <laughs> we got one for Andrew. Daniel, uh, Andrew's, the actor Andrew most wants to be like? Oh. Uh, I don't know. I didn't either. I just tie. This guessed. is very, very crucial here. Um, Kiefer Sutherland. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff no. No? no. Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks. I just, oh, yeah. yeah. No. He's been, been in some great movies. He is. Yeah. So what would be your favorite Tom Hanks movie then? Toy Story. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Will Ferrell. Elf. Elf. Without a question. Yeah. Coming up on Christmas yes. time. Perfect. Um, I'm. This video is actually going to release... Uh, November, in November. Awesome. So I, the next question I have for each of you, um, you know, who are you guys voting for? Oh wow! You know, there's uh, a lot of choices <laughs> that have to be made, and you just have to uh, vote your conscience. <laughs> I'm gonna skip you because uh, we're going to the Fouch Zone. Okay. This is my most favorite part. You guys have a certain unspecified amount of time to answer these questions. If you don't get it in the right amount of time, I go right to the next question. How high can a flea jump? Time. Which bounces higher, a ball of glass or a ball of rubber? Rubber. Glass. How much is Google worth? Time. And the last question. How many miles of blood vessels are in the human body? Seven. <laughs> it's more than that. It's like 800. Well, know. let's just see if we have the... I'm actually going to give you guys a chance to answer okay. this question. How high can a flea jump? Six, six, six foot. I was going to say 16 inches. Well... I'll be honest with you. It may be six foot, but what what I found was two hundred times its own height. How it's do you a, calculate so it that? Could be, it could be six feet. I think that's right at six foot. Yeah. We were homeschooled, so be. math is going to be. We have yeah. really big fleas. Yeah. So which bounces higher, a ball of glass or a ball of rubber? And you each. I said rubber. I, I don't know which one. Yeah. Said. I said glass. It, the correct answer is glass. No a way. Ball of glass. Yeah. It shatters. <clears throat> how how much is? Solid? Oh, if it's solid. Yeah. How much is Google worth? It's billions. 800 billion. Um, I'm going to say 500 billion. 527. Whoa. Close there. Yeah. And the last one, how many miles of blood vessels are in the human body? Your answer was seven. seven. <laughs> Your answer was 80, eight, 80 or, or 800. 800, 800, 800, 800. Yeah. It's a lot. 60,000 okay, yeah. miles. Close. Close. Price is right. Price rules. is right. Rules. I, I win. <laughs> guys, thanks so much. It's been a hey. blast. Thanks for joining me, Andrew and Daniel Ball. You guys, if you're watching, be sure to subscribe on YouTube and click like, 
comment, share, share the video. on Facebook. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks so much for watching. And like they said earlier, just check them out right here on Facebook at Ball Brothers or YouTube. Yeah. And uh, be sure to connect with them and go see them in concert. They do a great job. And I especially love your guys' Christmas stuff. So. Oh, thanks. Thank and you. thanks for letting me be a part of that one yeah. album that one time. Yeah. Way back yeah. Yeah. Matt was guest vocalist on one Snowball. of our first Christmas albums. Snowball. So check yeah. that one out too. I did some do 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 do. Yep. <laughs> thanks guys. Have a great day.